Hey everyone, my name is Lexi Marcella and today I am collaborating with Curl Mix to show you my morning routine. So let's go ahead and get started. So I will set my alarm clock in the morning and I like to wake up early so I will turn my alarm clock off and the very first thing I like to do is get up and take in some water. Now this is if I already didn't chug this thing in the middle of the night, I will try to drink some water first thing in the morning just to kind of wake my body up as well. And I will check emails, I will check social media, but I might star them so I can get back to it later. I really try not to be on my phone. And then I get up and I try to make my bed. Although this doesn't happen all the time, I try really hard to do it more often than not. So I do put my hair up in a bun so it's out of my way because I do sleep with a pineapple. And then I will just rinse my face with some water and then go ahead and make sure that I dry it with a towel. Then I apply my moisturizer. I personally use the Curology system so I use that moisturizer because I like my moisturizer to soak into my skin before I apply my makeup. And this one's actually great for oily skin. I personally have oily skin, so this is like a gel moisturizer. I really like it. Then I will go ahead and brush my teeth. And I don't know if anybody else is like obsessed with the way their teeth look. I'm always checking to make sure my teeth look clean. Then I will head into the kitchen. I personally am a coffee lover, so I make myself some coffee. Sometimes I'll just make some toast or something. I personally can't eat right when I wake up. I'm kind of like a late morning breakfast person, so I will make my coffee usually because I can usually drink that and I'm fine. I like my coffee sweet, so then after that, I head over to start my makeup. So... Although I have a cute little area where I can do my makeup, I don't know why, but I prefer to do my makeup on the floor and use my little ottoman as like a table, but I like these lights, so that's kind of why I usually do my makeup in this area and not at my table. So to start out with my makeup, I am using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I love this primer. It's really cheap and it works so well. I like it because it really smooths out my skin. It really blurs my pores and it does help me with my oil. So I put that on first. Then I take my translucent powder and I powder the areas that I get oily. So for me, it's kind of like my T-zone. That's where I tend to get oily. So I like to apply some powder there. Then I move on to filling in my eyebrows. It's very low maintenance for me. My eyebrows are pretty thick, so I kind of just fill them in just a little bit where they're a little sparse. But next, I'm moving on to foundation. So I'm using the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This foundation. Full coverage, photographs beautifully. I actually wore it in my graduation pictures from college. So I apply this on with my fingers and then I use a brush to blend it in because I want the fullest amount of coverage. If I were to use a sponge, it would shear it out, but I want all the coverage of this foundation. So I go in and blend it out with a brush and I usually take my time blending this out. Now, yes, the color is a little bit darker for me, but since I'm on a acne regimen and I'm working on my skin, my skin exfoliates. So my skin's a lot paler than the rest of my body, but this foundation color is a good match for my actual body color. So that's kind of why if it looks a little bit darker, but next I am moving on to the concealer. So I'm going to be highlighting and contouring with concealer. I'm also using the Il Maquillage concealer because I like using the foundation concealer combo, usually from the same brand, just because I always know it's going to work well and usually it just looks the best. So I'm using this to highlight and contour for the way that I like to do it. This works best for my face shape and what I like to accentuate and what I like to hide. So I like to contour the forehead. I like to highlight my nose. So that's kind of just how I personally like to do it. 
I've been doing this technique like this for a really long time and I just like the way it looks. So I am then going to blend everything out and you will see just how seamless and beautiful everything melts together. And that's what I really like with using the same products from the same company, same brand usually works a lot better. And it just blends so well into my skin. And this is just what works really well for my skin type and my skin tone. Um, I'm really happy with this little combo. I've been using it a lot lately. It's majority what I pull when I make my makeup looks. This is literally what I usually do. So then I will make sure everything's blended because you don't want to be out here looking crazy. So take your time and blend everything out. Um, and I like to move a little bit faster just because I don't want this to like get stuck and I can't blend it out. I usually like to take my time, pull my baby hairs back, make sure I blend everything into my hairline so that it looks nice and not flawless because obviously I have makeup on, but seamless. So it looks kind of just more natural, I guess. So that's kind of how I like to do my highlight and my contour. Then after that, I like to set with some powder just because I shared with you guys earlier, your girl's a little oily. So I like to set with some powder as well. Then I am taking my highlighter. This is a highlighter I've used a lot. I love this highlighter. It's bomb. It's blingy. It photographs pretty as well. It just is so blinding. I love it. I think it looks so pretty. So again, I'm highlighting areas that I really like. So I like my nose. So I highlight my nose like a lot <laughs> and then I put some on the high points of my face, but mostly just my cheeks. And I honestly just put a little bit. I don't really go overboard with the highlighter. And then after that, I am using some mascara. I personally don't like false lashes. I like a more natural look. So I just try to find really good mascaras that help pull and elongate and thicken my eyelashes so that I don't have to go that route of like heavy eyelashes and stuff like that. So that's just me. And that's kind of like my makeup look. And then my lips will depend on what I'm wearing. So I know I do things backwards. I do my makeup before I pick my outfit, but it's just how I do it. And then I'll pull whatever I'm going to wear for the day. In my videos, I wear hoodies to t-shirts to like something pretty like I think I picked out today. So it just depends on my mood. Then I go into doing my hair last because I want my hair to look the best, obviously. So what I like to do is take my hair out of the bun and then kind of fluff it out. Try to get my hair to look really, really voluminous. And when I sleep, my curls can tend to like clump together. So I'm using the pure hair growth serum in the watermelon fragrance smells amazing i use that to help break up my curls also add some shine another little tip i like to put it around my hairline where i might have had some powder from my makeup and it makes it like disappear um, and then i'll just go ahead and just try to smooth out my hair any frizzy areas i love this because it also hydrates and moisturizes my curls which i love and it kind of gives them a little bit of a boost a little bit of a shine and if I have any areas that are a little crunchy, this will definitely help with softening up my curls. And then I throw the rest on my elbows because it's a bomb serum. It's an amazing blend. So it works really, really well. And this is kind of what my hair looks like. It's really easy, low maintenance. It's not a too many steps. I usually just shake it out, add some serum and I am good to go. So this is what my hair looks like. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what it looks like when I really just fluff out my curls and especially saving my hair for last. So after this, I am blessed enough at the moment, I am working from home. I have my own online boutique. So pretty much for the rest of my day, I will be fulfilling orders. I will be checking my emails, doing some work. You guys do know I do social media and YouTube and all that stuff. So I will go ahead and create my content for the day. I just try to keep organized so I don't get too overwhelmed with the work that I have to do. But that is pretty much what my rest of my day will look like. And I just hustle and stay focused and grind and start my day on the right foot. And that's my morning routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.